Welcome back to the Thinking Progressive Podcast. I'm your host, Ron Rivers, and this week we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, my most recent essay that I've been working on is just taking me a little bit longer. I'm just tweaking some of the final details. But I wanted to make sure I hit my weekly content quota that I set for myself. So I wanted to share something with you um, that I feel is something a, a real benefit in my life. But I knew, I realized, really I should say, from a, a previous conversation this week that not everyone uh, completely does that well, which is effective and easy task management. So if you're like me, you spin a lot of plates, and that's something that, you know, for better or worse, I've, I've done for a long time in my life, just kind of packing that schedule deep with things to do in, in every direction, whether that's professional work, whether it's activism, personal life, uh, or reading or other hobbies I want to take advantage of to uh, you know, further my own personal experience in this world. Um, and one thing I found that has really helped me is a method I developed about two years ago. I've been using it ever since. Um, it's super effective, it's super cheap, uh, it costs nothing really. And uh, it's been a, really a lifesaver to me to kind of just make sure that I'm focused and maximizing my time whenever possible. So, and I think no matter what you're doing, right, time is always of the essence. It's the one thing we can never get more of. You know, it can, we can get real philosophical and say that time is the totality of our lived experience, or we could just say that, you know, time is fleeting and we need more of it, and the best way to take advantage is just to manage yourself correctly. Um, so with that said, I want to kind of dive into a method I developed uh, and share with you, and uh, you can see the links below. I'm going to link to the live documents. So um, once you're done watching this and kind of understanding the, the brief of what I've you know, created and why I'm using it and what I'm sharing, uh, you can just download it and it's yours. Uh, you can use it in any way, shape, or form you want. It's free, uh, and I hope you'll take advantage of it if you're not already using something to maximize your time when it comes to effectively doing your tasks. Um, and, and one final thing before we dive in, I do want to mention, and I did mention, uh, tasks. Okay, this is not a strategy for effectively planning an organization. Uh, so, for example, from personal experience, um, I built and sold a, a for-profit e-commerce company. I founded a successful nonprofit. This is not the document, and this is not the tool to build a, a large-scale organization. This is the tool to help me manage, and hopefully help you manage. You're just weekly activity. Every week, uh, you know, I, I kind of redo this this tool uh, because I find myself, and, and I'm someone who you know, can focus very intensely on work, but if it's not on my immediate radar, if it's not on my immediate focus, uh, I can lose track of a lot of smaller things. And not only that, um, sometimes, you know, my work is either kind of like all or none. Like I'm either really into it or I'm not motivated to work at all. But I found that managing my tasks effectively allows me to take that time that I'm, I'm not motivated to work and still focus it on some sort of productivity. It might not be work related, it may be personal related, like a personal task I have to do for myself or my family. Uh, maybe hobby related, I may want to sign up uh, for the next jujitsu class or yoga class or whatever the case may be. Uh, but making sure that you know, even the times that I am not motivated to work, the task management allows me to be disciplined enough to still focus my productivity. So why don't we get started? Check out the, the sheet on your screen right now. So the setup may look complicated at first glance, but it's, it's really simple. In this version, there are six columns that I use and they're labeled appropriately. Uh, description details the effort to be done. Uh, priority helps me rank the tasks accordingly. The class adds a layer of information to organize multi-directional action further. And then the date column serves as a due date. Um, the target that you're setting for yourself to complete the work, not the date that you entered it into your sheet. Uh, the note section is perfect for creating little reminders or recording obstacles that got in the way of fully completing the task. You can see an example of that on line six says update Facebook, change name. So uh, I manage my work's Facebook account and one of the problems with Facebook is there's, there's no support. It's a really terrible support system. So I've gone through their method to sub change the name of the page about four or five times now and it, it never changes and there's no response. There's no email in the support box, et cetera, et cetera. So I just keep notes so that when I have to report back to work about what's going on, they, you know, I can refer to this and give them you know, by the moment details of what happened each week of, of the action. And then finally, um, we trace what is and what is not complete by highlighting the rows. 
you can see at the top it just says highlight equal complete. It's a really easy way to manage it. Now all of the menu items under priority, under class and category, they're all drop down menus and, and you're going to see that on your screen now. How we do that is essentially directly to the right of the notes column there are uh, several data columns. So you can see um, a line, column H is uh, a priority column, column F is a class column, and column J is a category column. Now these are all editable. Anything you want to do, you can make. And in the sheets I provide below, you can just edit it and the formulas will stay the same. So you don't even have to do any Excel work. You just type the categories that you want. Whether or not you even want to make categories is up to you. I find personally that the higher detail data organization really helps me prioritize what is most important. So for example, I might have something that might be a high priority for work, um, but a, a, you know, compared to an absolute priority for personal life. Now, those two things can both get done. They're both very important. So it really depends on the time of day, where I'm at, and, and what I'm doing in, in order to accomplish that. So that's why I find the classifications make it a little easier. That way I'm not like, fall, I feel like without the classifications, you might fall into the habit of you're know, spending your day doing all your absolute personal tasks and then realizing, oh, all the high ranked tasks were work and I didn't get to them because I was doing other stuff. Because of course, right, time is limited. So at the beginning of every week, I sit down on a Sunday, usually Sunday evening, I take about 20 minutes to organize my week, whether it's a work week, personal week, etc. Uh, I just make a new tab, I copy the information, we'll get into that in a little bit. But you can see here in the example, there is a, a separate tab that says job app. So it's the one of, in my personal Excel sheet that I've been managing for about a little over two years, it is one of, I think, two or three tabs that aren't just a date tab. So certain life events may happen um, where you just want to track all of that activity in one sheet. So for example, the job apps tab is where I tracked all the companies I was applying for, the link uh, to the website that I found the job application on, the link to the company website, notes uh, from the application I took, uh, so forth and so on. So that way it was just all concentrated in one place. I can imagine you doing this for something like planning a wedding or planning a party where there's a ton of tasks that are really focused on one large event or one large thing that don't need to be spread out amongst multiple weeks. They can just be concentrated in a single sheet. That's up to you how you want to do it. Making a new sheet is really simple. You just click the top left corner of your Excel document and you just highlight everything. You control C, you go to the next page, you hit control V and you paste it. Now it's important that when you paste this, you got to have to reorganize your data. We'll, we'll get into the how we organize it in a moment. Uh, but I want to stress, don't delete the rows. So what I mean by that is don't click the row number, let's say row seven, right click on it and say delete row. That is not the best way to move these because what that will do is it'll delete all the formulas in the Excel sheets. So what I typically do is I'll sit up you know, on my Sunday evening and I'll go and I'll just highlight the rows that are highlighted uh, and I'll just delete, delete the text inside of it. And I do that for every single highlighted row. And then what I do is I sort the sheet. Now sorting is done by two methods. You can see the, the screenshot on your screen right now. It's pretty straightforward. The first thing is make sure you click that your data has headers. I have headers on all the, the rows intentionally. Um, and the first thing we do is sort by date, okay? Sorting by date is important because that is the primary you know, responsibility. That is the date you've set for yourself. So it's really the most important aspect of this, especially when it comes to work-related tasks. You wanna make sure that you know, the things you're committing to doing are getting done on time. So I sort by date. The second sort by, as you can see on the screen right now, is priority. Okay, and priority you have to make a custom list. So you can see on the screen, um, on the custom list, these are side by side, I've created a new one. It says absolute, high, moderate, or low. If you're downloading the sheet, you'll already have that pre-done, but if you don't have that or you're making your own, you just hit add and you rank them in that order. So what this will do is every time I sort using these, it sorts all of the tasks first by date. So it'll say, okay, um, today's February 18th, you, you know, all the tasks for February 18th. And then after that, it adds a layer of, well, what are the, you know, the, the priorities? So it'll be, it'll be February 18th, absolute, then the highs and the moderates and the lows. Uh, and that's, in my opinion, the, the best way to do this because it allows you to always be focused on you know, maximizing your time. Look, at the end of the day, even these tools aren't going to solve the problem of there being only 24 hours in a day, right? Like that's going to be a perpetual challenge 
for you accomplishing all that you want to accomplish. But this way, by having the date and the priority sorted, you can make that decision. So for example, let's say tomorrow it's 2.19.20 and you got most of your tasks from 2.18 done, but there's still some moderate and low tasks. But now it's 2.19 you know, and it's like, well, what do I do? Do I finish those first or do I focus on the absolute and high priorities for 2.19? Now that's up to you. Personally, I'll focus on the absolute and high priorities for 219 before I fix the low and moderate priorities. Because every week, the things that we don't get done get carried over. And they may get reprioritized if they are, you know, some tasks, let's be honest, they're not that important if they're due in three weeks from now. But if it's a week from now, they may be a high or an absolute priority. Uh, and this gives you the option to be flexible in how you work and flexible about what you do but also have the ability to have your eyes on everything all at once, which I find very important for my own sanity uh, in, in my work week. So now that we've reviewed the sheet, I mean, that's really it, it it's that simple. Um, I wanna talk about what I do and do not record on this task management sheet. So uh, I'll start by what I don't record, which is routine tasks. Um, so ultimately, up, it's up to you what you decide to put on this, but I find that routine tasks, that is things that are repeated on a daily or weekly basis, um, that I do every single day or week that don't change, don't require a ton of mental processing power, those don't need to go on the sheet. So for example, I wouldn't put like making breakfast on the sheet. I wouldn't put walking my dog on the sheet. I wouldn't put uh, driving to work on the sheet. Silly things like that because they have to get done uh, and they're not, you know, they don't need to be recorded per se, they're just part of the daily activity. Uh, but the flip side, right, let's say I need to buy something for the house, that's definitely going on the sheet because if it's not, I'm going to forget about it. I also want to stress the importance of putting personal obligations on here. You'll see that I have a personal uh, classification. You may or may not choose it, you know, choose to use it, but I recommend it uh, for no other reason than sometimes, how about this, if you're like me, uh, I tend to work in very focused bursts. Uh, and I don't typically, you know, I have the privilege of not having to work, you know, a strict schedule. So um, I might work, be working at 9 p.m., I might be working at 7 a.m., I might, you know, be working at noon, who knows. Um, and I might go through an intense burst of focus, and then I may find myself struggling to kind of find the motivation to continue, right? Well, from my perspective, productivity is a discipline. It's not a motivation thing, which is why I find the task management sheet so helpful. If I'm brain dead about working on work stuff, I can always look to the sheet and do things that I need to get done otherwise. Personal tasks, for example, there's still work, there's still productivity, so if I need to order new things for the house, or if I need to contact the landlord for something, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? No matter what it is, if I can find a way to maximize my time so I'm being productive in a multi-directional effort, uh, that's a win, right? I think there's, you know, many of us have already heard of no zero sum days. I feel like the task management sheet makes it really possible to make sure that's a daily mantra you live by uh, because there's always things to get done, right? They may not always be work-related, but there's plenty of stuff to get done in your life, I imagine, uh, and this will only help you better manage it. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward. I hope you found it helpful. Again, check the links below. You can download the sheets directly. You can have your own. Um, well, the Google document is yours um, with the Google Sheets Okay, it's a view only, so you just have to go to file and then make a copy, and then it'll make a copy in your own Gmail account that only you can see and edit, uh, and then you can just use it from there. If you have any questions, feel free to post or comment below. I'll definitely respond, or you can just hit me up on Twitter, at RiversMind. So that's it. I hope you find this sheet helpful and useful in your daily and weekly management of tasks. I find that, you know, for no matter what you're doing, no matter what good you're doing for the world, uh, you can only be doing better by better managing your time, uh, and it'll also help you improve your sanity. So thanks so much. We'll see you next week.